Welcome back Pokefans to the playthrough of Pokemon Myth. So last episode we got a gym badge from a guy who turns out is the son of Clay from Unova. Obviously he had ground Pokemon as well and it wasn't too bad of a battle. After that we then started making our way to Sunside Village. We met up with Vanilla and everyone and Vanilla found a phone that apparently she thought belonged to Bree and it got messages on. And um, yeah so we arrived at Sunside Village which is where the next gym is and hopefully today we're gonna get the next gym badge but we're gonna explore what's here first so I don't think we need to heal do we now um, level cap is 55 which we're not that far off so let's head in these houses oh there's a police officer me and my wife finally get to spend a great dinner with each other I'm off for the next two weeks ah oh, what a perfect thing to happen although after two weeks off work you don't really want to go back hey you you seem like someone who wants to become the best so I have a gift for you ditto oh okay I mean thanks oh there is an item up there by the gym Let's go and check the mart, see if there's anything there. It's kind of cool how this region sells elixir in the public shops. I never saw that when I lived in Yanova. Um, do we need anything? Maybe some more revives. Always get more potions. 24 ultra balls should be enough. Oh, is this quest? Oh, hello, young one. I'm sorry to bother you. Earlier when I was on my way to the Pokemon, I think I happened to lose my glasses. Could you return them for me, please? Okay. The question is, where are they? Because I don't see no glasses. Right, we'll go in here first. And it's an empty room. Passage connecting Sunside Village and Sunside Creek is almost complete. Come back later. This town was never this green. A few years ago the central area of was infected by some tree overgrowth thing. Quite frankly this town used to be really sunny. Okay. Oh, who we got here? Pokex, how are you feeling? You know, I'm glad you didn't give up when life got tough, or else I wouldn't be able to finish my journey with you. The friendship you and I have together is something I'll always cherish, even if we barely see each other. You've taught me a lot, I want to thank you for that. Now, a battle between me and you is far overdue. Give me the honour of battling against you. I want to see the power of myth and saviour for myself. I'm not going to lie, I do not remember what Pokemon you have at all. Okay, Mushana. Um. Huh. Just flying through. That did not do much damage at all. Alright, let's go Lucario. Tanks that. Oh my god, my Shana is bulky. Um, Absol. We really do not have the best of teams, do we? Um, let me just think, let me just think. I'm gonna go Coco Fested. Absol's physical, isn't it, sir? And we do have Bug Buzz. Oh, it's a Mega Absol. Shiny Absol, too. Um, 
Let's see. Take some damage and then bug buzz deletes. Heraclosus. I think this is the poison dragon thing. Let's go for an earthquake. Here it is. Go serpent sink. Being humongous, isn't it? What we got next? Lunala. Pretty sure it's psychic type, isn't it? If it's Pokemon, I'm thinking of. Yep, you just casually have. A legendary. Mm. I'm sorry, Zorok, but I'm going to sack you off. What about if we go into Pidgeot? Mega Revolve. Thunderbolt. I honestly have no idea what type it is. I know it's... I'm pretty sure it's Psychic. Oh, Pidgeot does the work anyway. Rotom. Go Serpent Sink. Yeah, I had a feeling you were going to be that type. There we go. Uh, we don't learn thunder. Plane yarn is just literally what it says on the tin plane. It does look pretty cool though. I'm gonna calm up. Yo! You wanna chill out? Okay, just go down to a life orb damage. I'll take that. I see now. I see why the Guardians of Myth and chose you and not me. My research wasn't near enough to make me capable of protecting this region. I'm glad they chose you. You weren't else down, were you? Ah, uh, who am I kidding, you Pokéx? Neither Ballistic Genocet nor a Violent Blizzard could keep you down. I'll get you out of your hair now. Good luck with Yeri, he's a strong trainer. I don't know when you'll see me next, but I look forward to then. Adios. Um, do we need to heal? Yes, we do. So yeah, that wasn't that easy of a battle. Planeon hits incredibly hard. Like that star bolt thing. Doing some serious damage. I mean, I know you did get tail glow off, so... That kind of would be why you were doing so much damage but still we'd also got a calm mind up so uh, oh no we forgot that item which is a lucky egg I need to find out what um, gym this is these sound type Guess the cry correctly to move on. I can't remember what's super effective against sound. Like, hmm, screw it, we'll, we'll just go in. Hey, hey, you ready for your gym challenge? All you need to do is listen to the cry of a Pokemon and tell us what Pokemon you heard. If you get it wrong, you'll have to fight the correct Pokemon. Get it right, move on to the next round, let's get started. I'm going to be terrible at this. Here we go. Sounding like explode. Binge? 
I'd never heard that noise, so I just assumed it was that. Okay. Let's see how this is going to go. Oh, he's got an evolution. They say a trainer with a great sense of sound memorization has powers beyond what's comprehensible. Don't think you can beat me. I'm Yeri, the sound type master. And I've trained my Pokemon's ears for many years. Show me what a trainer like you can bring to the table. Right, I am so not ready for this. Oh my god. That just looks incredible. Right, this is where we'll find out if it resists electric moves or not. I'm pretty sure sounds super effective. Yeah, because that should have done way more damage. Let's hope that fire... Why is also, also resisted? Like, is there anything that's not? But water. Okay, we're getting destroyed. Still super effective then. No even. We'll stay in. Oh, okay, you're an ice type. Oh yeah, crap. That wasn't quite to plan. Jet boom missed. Moon blast neutral. Why is this thing so tanky? Like, incredibly tanky. Well, I'm going to take the opportunity to heal everyone. Still don't understand what's good and what's bad in this battle. But because of all your stat drops, you're not actually doing any damage to us. Which is good because we can just cheese the fight. You can't even use Dragon Pulse no more either. Why wasn't it attacking? Like, that was weird. Alright, I'm just gonna calm mind up. Just gonna keep calm minding. Hope that we get to, like, max everything and sweep. Bye bye. Be gone. Chimeco. Yep, you get deleted. And then Binchy. Okay. That does look like a pretty cool Pokemon. That must be what Wailing evolves into. And then Sonarion. The Battle of the Evolutions. But unfortunately we're at like plus whatever. Plus six, plus eight. Oh man, that could have been a tough battle. 
Marvellous, you have a great sense of hearing. I'm truly impressed. You really have a unique battle technique. Take this badge to prove that you defeated me. Oh, we've got the Cerner badge. I think that's badge 6. And we got Uproar. Good luck though, I really see you making it to the Pokemon League. Um, where's that thing? Here we go. Yes, that was bad 6. Level cap's now 60, so it's not gone up by, like, dramatically. So the question will be, where do we go now? Do we go down? Yeah, we must do. On to route 10. Oh, I've got an amulet coin. And... Swallow. What do you mean I can't get away? The rocks incredibly fast. Oh, I need to get that annoying whale thing. Although, somebody said that this can learn a lot of um, HMs, so let's put that theory to the test. Surf. It does in fact learn surf. Oh, actually, what am I doing? Um, I taught the dragon thing surf dinner, so I don't need to keep switching. I forgot all about that. Right, what um what encounters are there here? So there's Lucario from the looks of it. And yeah, that looks like all of it. Oh my god, Gyarados looks terrifying. Might have to use some repels here. Go ahead and use some. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, Pokex. I did it. I made it back out. I'm still a little weak, though. And um, by the way, thank you for saving my life. I don't think I'd still be here if it wasn't for you. As corny as it may sound, I'm actually really glad I met you. You're one of the best things that's happened to me. That's why I want to give you this. Ooh, Mega Deancey. Uh, I'm getting lightheaded again. I think I'll go back to the Pokemon Center and take a little break until I feel better. Pokex, I'll see you sometime soon, okay. Go on your way to Diamond Town, stop by the inn. I heard an old myth and champion staying there. See you later. Oh, okay. So we need to surf down this way. I don't know, actually. Moltres Desert, but there's no desert here. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Roy Cloud Passway. Again, nothing crazy. We are missing some Pokemon. No, we're not. That's really weird. Why does it do that? Swimming near this mountain makes me nervous. Okay, Zorok's not going to be good, is it? Oh, snap. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go into Coco Fested. Right, Zorok's gone, delayed. 
Good Pidgeot. Talon Slash and a Leaf Storm should delete Swampert. There we go. Coco Festival wants land Earthquake. I think I'll stick with what I got. Blew me out of the water. Okay. Um might be worth leading with Coco Fested. I'm just gonna max survive you because I can't bother. Weather here is normal. Usually when it's sunny there's a Pokemon causing it. Hmm. Very interesting. Maybe it's a... Uh... Ooh, shiny Glissor. Right. Um. I'm going... No, I can't surf. Yeah, I can actually. I just need to switch to something that can take it. Like a surf and sink. That did so oh son, I forgot about that. Alright, um Let's hype potion serpent sink and then aquato glissor. Oh my god, even at plus, plus one, does not do that much damage. Right, that gets a shiny glissor. And then I'm going to go for dual chop. Surf gets rid of you. See, Pidgeot's never that annoying whenever I use it. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. Right, back to full health. Um, I suppose just follow it along. Another trainer but Oh, my Pokemon are smart. There's no way you can outclass them. I'm not liking this sun. Like, at all. Right, I'm going to leave Storm Rytheria. And I'm going to Earthquake. That gets rid of Cleaver. Okay, nice easy battle for change. Four citrus berries. Okay, looks like that's where we need to go. So what's down here? Pokemon battling this weather is always interesting. It's just hikers everywhere. Okay, I was not expecting that. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to PGR and then Earthquake. Deletes Magma Art, Magmortar, which is what we wanted to do. Alright, I'm going to Talon Slash, Meteor Mash. Okay, Adino is bulky as hell. Couldn't even see, that's not fair. Oh my god, I didn't even need to come this way. I thought there'd be at least something there. Why is there just a camera up? Chilling. Okay, that might be the way we need to go. Oh, got an ultra ball. What's up here? 
Ah, choice scarf. I think we've already got one there. I'm sure we have. This Pokemon. It looks so powerful, it's quite obvious that this is the Pokemon controlling the harsh sun. Yo! You okay? Yeah, that's what I thought. Get deleted. Sun is still harsh. Maybe this isn't the only Pokemon causing the drought. Where else would there be one? Unless there's another area. I've got a feeling there's another area to this. Because this just leads to a dead end, doesn't it? Yeah. Suppose it could lead to more desert when you go down through that. Um, what's it called? Through this. Route 11. Oh, this is like proper desert, isn't it? Oh, we've got a miracle seed. Um, you know what, actually? We're going to end it here because. We don't want to make a really long episode and although the roots aren't really too long you just don't know whether you're going to end up in like some sort of story thing so yeah we'll end it here and then the next episode we'll start from route 11 and carry on to where we need to go so yeah thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you all next time